Hey guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to the Dyslexic Reader. Today we are going to be having, drum roll please, a cheap book haul. Yay! All of my books today were purchased from Abe Books, um, which is a website. I'm pretty sure it uh, exists in the US as well as the UK and other European countries if you're interested. I was able to buy six books for £14, including pa post and packaging, which is like £2 a book. It's incredible. Um, they are all second hand, but there is a level of guaranteed quality. So they may have like a bit of damage, but like it's nothing that's like the spine isn't damaged. It hasn't been written on at the inside. There's no dog ears or anything like that. Especially with some of the second hand books I got are quite old copies. Um, but they're in, it's, they're in fine condition. All of the conditions are guaranteed as good. So, can't really. Say hello to the people if you're that interested. Yeah. Say hello. She's not. <laughs> They're all guaranteed as good quality. So like I've had some worse than others, obviously, but I have been using this site for years. I've bought multiple books off them and I've never had a problem with anything. And now the cat's walking across the surface and making the camera joker. Well, let's just stuck in because we have six books to look at today. The first one, this was not how it looked in the, in the picture. That's the other thing. So they like put a picture of the book but like it mightn't be that copy that you get if you know what I mean um first book I got was The Alchemist but I kind of like this it's pretty cool and so yellow was sort of like the red writing and design this has been on my to read list forever um not really sure why I haven't got around to it but yeah I'm pretty sure everyone has probably heard of this I always thought it's quite interesting. I don't even know like that much about it. But yeah, it's a comedy. So we'll see. Everyone rates it highly. We'll see how this goes. The next book, I can't believe I got this for two pounds because I have been looking at it in Waterstones and Easons for ages, which for anyone in the UK will know is like large book chain. Like book stores but they're like a chain of bookstores and um, but they can be like really expensive this one is probably the most damaged out of them all but like it's literally like one corner it's the night Cir circus and um, everyone has been talking about this it's been very widely acclaimed it's been out for quite a few years but it's like a good hefty book and um, so um when i've been looking at it in sort of Eason's and Waterstones and all those sorts of places it's been like eight pound and I think I got it for 230 or something including packaging so that was nothing literally the bottom there there's like a wee bit of rippling and there's like one or two creases in the spine and that's all it that's all it is the inside is perfect there's no dog ears or anything all the pages are crisp there's no tears or stains or anything on it so I thought that was an absolute steal. I'm not in the mood for this at the minute. Although I did just read a book that was circus related. I'm going to do a review on that coming up in the next couple of days, hopefully. Um, which I gave five stars. That's all I'm going to say. So it has almost put me in the mood for this. I ordered this before I read my other circus book that I had got from the library. So I don't know, maybe I am in the mood for this. We shall have to see. All the others are, well, what I would deem classics. Um, some of the covers are hideous. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there now. So if you are a lover of fresh books, modern design, yeah, books probably isn't for you. But if you just want a good story at a cheap price, that's definitely what you're going to get there. I love um, secondhand books that come with notes in them. Like if they've written inside to Mary on your 21st birthday or something, love, aunt and uncle, whatever. 
I love those sorts of things. I checked all these books as soon as I got them they didn't have it. But I feel like secondhand books tell such a story, like they've been loved, they've been used bed and bread by someone else and they've passed it on and I think I'm going to do a video on that um, soon. Um, sort of like why people, my hair is, I'm just out of the shower so excuse the state of me and my hair won't do anything it's being asked to do. Um, I love secondhand books and like I would say the majority of people in Berkshire would never think of buying a secondhand book and that makes me so sad and very few people like would read a book and then give it away which also sort of makes me sad. One of the reasons why I don't film in front of a bookcase, there's a couple of reasons but one of them is my bookcase is not impressive, like it really isn't. I don't actually have that many books. Most of my books come from the library and the ones that I own, unless I love them or like it's a series I'm like trying to work through, unless I think I'm going to reread them I don't really keep them. Um, I would give them away to like a charity shop or sell them on or just give them to a friend like I read this it's really good have it. So I think there sort of needs to be more of that in the book community and sort of less vanity on books. But there is no doubt that these next few books I'm going to show you most of them are hideously covered. <laughs> but the words are all the same on the inside. I've got two Daphne, Daphne du Maurier books. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. First My Cousin Rachel and then Rebecca. Um, Rebecca the old like 1930s black and white movie was always one of my favourite. I loved it um, as a kid creepy. So I know the story but I felt like I had to get the book. Um, I've sort of been feeling in that mood, more of a like classics mood. I listened to the audiobook of Pride and Prejudice for like the billionth time recently and it sort of put me in the mood for it. So um, I wanted to get this and while I was looking for it in Waterstone Seasons I always go in and look and like see what it's like and like have a little feel of it and see what price they have it as but I very rarely buy out of there. So I was thinking what sort of books am I in the mood for and I was like you know what I would really love to get round to this. So I went to look for it and I hadn't realised how many books Daphne du Maurier had actually written. So I was looking at some of the other ones and sort of what they were about and my cousin Rachel sort of caught my eye, the sort of the plot of it. I thought it was like it almost sounds as if, let me check to see if it was written before or after. It was written after Rebecca but I feel like one of the sub characters in Rebecca sounds like the main character in this. Like it's not meant to be the same person but I find it and he's one of my favourite characters in Rebecca, the cousin. So um, this sounds a bit like a sort of storyline based around that sort of a character and it's also, I looked it up in Goodreads and it's one of her top, or you know, recommended um, books. So I'm quite excited to get into this one. This is one of the ones I said was an absolutely hideous cover. Like it's just a picture of a woman. Now dramatised as a BBC TV series. BBC clearly done a series and that was one of the main characters. So they published a whole set of books with a cover and now nobody knew who she is. Great. Um, the cover of Rebecca isn't too bad. It's just sort of like System the gates up to the house laundry. and the sort of the fire glowing in the background. But I hate I like fake that. stickers laundry. on books. My computer's talking to me. I hate fake stickers on books. Like what the heck. That is so ugly. I can't take it off. It's been all scraped and scored up like a sticker's been stuck on there forever. But it's not. It's like printed on. You can't take it off. Ugh. I'm not fussy about books but that's one thing that I really don't like. So I was quite disappointed when this arrived. But you know, words on the inside are all the same. And it's a really chunky book. And again, all these came in at about two pounds. Um, the next two are classics as well. But they're quite short books. Um, Frankenstein, again hideous. A little bit of creasing on the sort of cover here but like the spine and all is fine, all the pages, nothing's dog eared, so crisp. Um, Frankenstein, yep just one of those ones. I remember watching like the one of the black and white versions, I'm sure there's many, um, when I was a kid and like my dad told me it was going to be so scary and I just didn't even remember half the stuff that went on. I think it was quite boring. I never watched any other sort of Frankenstein related spin-off movies based on whatever. But I feel like I have to give the book a go. Do you ever feel like that? Like you see an adaptation of it and you hate it but you feel like the book's got to be better. Like it's so well known. It's a classic. It's got to be good. Although horror doesn't really come into my list of favourite books but there you go. And my last one is probably the one I'm most excited about is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. 
by Robert Louis Stevenson. Yeah, I'm sure you all know what this is. It is super short. Let's see how many pages this is. You could probably get this done in a day or two. Okay, it's about 90 pages and like the text is quite big and it's not a big book at all. The, ugh, it's not hideous the cover but like it's pretty bad so I'm pretty sure what you all know about this as well. Um, so Dr. Jekyll's trying to do some experiments and he gets a medicine that changes him into Mr. Hyde who is a completely different per personality and does some horrible things. Yada yada he's aware of what he's doing but he likes the cover of it's like not him. Yeah, so it's sort of like murders and stuff. I Again, I've seen TV adaptations. I've seen loads of children's like adaptations, which I never really understood. Like there was a Tom and Jerry of Jekyll and Hyde, <laughs> a Scooby-Doo. There was, oh, see if anyone can remember and leave it down in the comments below. There was a book, not a book. It was like a movie about books and Macaulay Culkin was the wee boy in it. I think and he gets trapped in a library in a storm and the like books come alive and he goes on an adventure and there's like a fantasy book, an adventure book and a horror book that like help him escape on the horror book that go inside him and it's like Jekyll and Hyde and it really scared me. It's like real life action at the start and the end but when he goes into the library and all the magical stuff start happening it goes to cartoon. It was like a mixed one. I loved that as a kid. Oh, it, wasn't it wasn't a never ending story obviously. If I can remember the name of it, I will leave it in the description. I think I have it in videos sitting downstairs. Yes, videos. <laughs> How old is that? I still have a video player in my room. In my bedroom, I have like a portable TV with a video player in it and I still watch my old videos. No shame. But yeah, so that was my six books. Um, I would consider like definitely four classics. One by a classic author and then The Night Circus which is a sort of a more modern YA but like pretty well known and relatively recent. All on 8 books. I will leave the description or in the description I'll leave a wee link below if you want to go and check that website out. You can search by author, book, genre, inexpensive, more expensive, they're rare, they're fresh copy. They have textbooks. Anybody in school, university, anybody studying they have second hand textbooks on 8 book for really cheap. I wish I'd known about that when I was in university. Yep, so that's it. I'm going to try and get a review up in the next couple of days. Sorry I haven't had much up in a while but I've had a stressful work week. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. I would love to have a natter. I would love to have a gossip. Have you read any of these books? What did you think? Please no spoilers. Um, what do you think I should read first out of them? And thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.